Hello students, I have for you today a video on using counter arguments specifically for your work on assignment 5, which is the impossible argument. The first thing you should know about counter arguments is your enemy. In order for you to complete step 3 on assignment 5, you have to understand what the opposing side is going to say, what the counter argument is. And because you are going to be working entirely from your own mind on this, that means you have to come up with the counter argument yourself. You have to decide what the other side is going to say. And your argument, what you have to say about an issue, is always going to be more convincing if you make sure that the opposing side is as strong as it can possibly be. This might not make sense to you immediately, but there are a few reasons why you want to make your enemy strong or make your opponent in an argument seem strong. The first reason is that nobody cares if you win against a weak opponent. If you are arguing against a stance that is very obviously wrong or weak, then it doesn't matter what you say. Uh, you aren't going to convince people with that. Everyone will be able to tell. Your audience is also going to be able to tell if you are not being charitable or if you're using what's called a straw man, which we talked about in class a bit yesterday. But here's another example of a straw man. If I say, I think pollution from humans contributes to climate change, and then my opponent says, so you think that humans are directly responsible for ice caps melting? Uh, how are, are humans going up and like aiming space heaters at them? So that's an example of a straw man from my opponent. They are putting words into my mouth to make my argument seem weak or absurd. And your audience is going to be able to tell if you do something like this. So it's important to make your enemy strong and not use a straw man. Also, it's good to make your card, the counter argument to your argument strong, make your enemy strong. Because if your audience, if your readers can think of a stronger counter argument than the one you came up with, you aren't going to be able to convince them by talking about some weaker version. They're already going to know what else they would say in response to your argument. So it's important to make the counter argument strong. Now you have one incredible tool as an author that you can use against this strong counter argument. And that is the last word, because you are writing the piece. So since you're the author, you get to decide what structure looks like. You get to follow up that counter argument with a rebuttal and then state or restate your points, depending on what structure you choose. And so there are a few ways that you can use this last word. And this deals with structure, which does matter when you're building up an argument. Uh, first thing you can do is start with your argument, start with your point of view, then present the counter argument, and then rebut that argument and restate your points. So your audience is going to understand what you say, then the counter argument, and then they'll see what you have to say again. And this, having what you say be the last word is again, important. You want your audience to walk away with that knowledge in their brain. Even if they still don't agree with you, that's the point that you want to emphasize by putting it at the end. So your words, your opponent's words, your words. You can also open with your opponent's stance and then rebut that and build your own case. So you might start by saying, people who believe X think that because A, B, and C, and give some reasoning for that. Then you can try to tear down A, B, and C, and then build up your own case, build up your argument. So here are some main takeaways from this. The stronger you make your opponent, the stronger your own argument is going to be, as long as you can still successfully argue against that opponent. And then structure the way you format your essay, the way you build things up in order, is a very powerful weapon when you're writing arguments. 
the way you present things to your audience is going to have an effect on the way they read it and what they come away with. All right, that's it. Uh, this presentation uses some graphics that are licensed under a Creative Commons license, so I have to show this here. But I hope this helps everyone. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in class next week.